Hello there, Kalpesh here, a child development enthusiast. Once again, I am here to share some of the valuable information which can help you for your child development journey. In this video, I am going to share a very important tips about logic and reasoning development in your child at the very early age of 3 months. Well, you might be wondering how you can go about it. Well, the answer is maths. Maths is directly connected to logic and reasoning development. And Spartan Kids has come up one of the best product which can help you to create the right environment for your child. Name of the product is 0 to 100 dots and numbers flashcard kits. And I'll unbox this product and I'll show you that how you can utilize it in an efficient manner. So I have this product 0 to 100 dots and numbers flashcard kits designed by Spartan Kids. This is really a beautiful product. It has more than 200 flashcards and this product could be useful for a 3 months to 6 year old child. So I'll be showing you this product and uh, unboxing this and I'll also demonstrate how you can use it. So let's start. So let me open this box and show you what exactly we got over here. The very first thing is we get this product planner sheet. This product planner sheet could be very handy and useful to you because it has all the information that how you can use this product. Now as far as your creativity goes you can use it in multiple ways and I'll be showing you one of the way that how you can use this product. Apart from this, this product planner sheet has some basic rules which you need to go through before you start the activity and moreover that you will be also getting the daily planner where you can actually track down the activity which activity you've done on what day. So it will be very handy to you to use this product with the use of this planner sheet. Okay. What else we got over here? Uh, we got so we got total five bunch of dot cards, which is the main core product. Now this each bunch is having a twenty dot cards, so total hundred dot cards plus seven uh, symbol cards. We also get this number card box which is having 0 to 100 number cards and symbol cards. And we got one more box which is having tile card. It is also having uh, uh, symbol cards into it. So we'll open this each box one by one and I'll show you what exactly the information we will be getting in each card. So let me open this dot cut bunch and see what we got over here. Okay, so yes, first bunch which is having 0 to 20 dot cards. 0 means the very first dot card is not having any numbers, any dots, it means it is a 0 card and you can see that this card is having all the bit size of information like what is this uh, what is the cardinal number what is the ordinal number all this information which you can provide to your kid whenever you are doing this activity apart from this we also have symbol cards so this particular bunch is having addition symbol card and it is also having all the information about this symbol so these are the dot card one and two and three like and each dot card is having all the information okay so this was the first bunch and like this we have total five bunches over here so total zero to 100 dot cards and seven symbol cards let me open the second box which is actually a number card so let's see what we got over here okay so we have 0 to 100 number cards let me open this for you so this is the number card and this is from fairly in a small size but you can do the activity very really nicely the important thing is each number card is having tables like 
this is the number card one so it has one stable behind it so we have 100 number cards so you can teach your kid uh, tables up to 100 okay and we also get this symbol cards okay so this was the second box let me open the third box wow we get this tile card so there are total 30 tile cards and 18 symbol cards so you can use this to show your kid uh, the tile card and uh, the numbers and the symbols while he can play because the uh, quality is really good it is a fairly a thick and a good item so that your kid can play now in upcoming section of this video I'll be demonstrating that how you can use this product but before we can go further we need to go through some of the quick rules so rule number one first thing you need to understand that use this product use this activity whenever you and your kid is in good and playful mode you would like to make it a fun show rather than keep it boring rule number two inform your child before begin the activity to make your child curious enough to enjoy this activity you need to declare it first we call it say and do practice like you first need to inform the child you can declare like this that baby we are going to see the dot cards from 0 to 20 in this activity and then you can start it will make your child curious enough and it will also help to build the self-esteem of your child rule number three keep your face fast Whenever you're doing this activity, whenever you are showing this card to your child, you need to keep this space very fast because child is having capability to grasp the bit size knowledge very fast. So you need to keep this space fast. Otherwise, your child would feel boring. And rule number four, the last one is don't be so serious. In fact, enjoy the process. You know, whenever we are doing this activity, we are actually working with the subconscious mind of the child and subconscious mind is very powerful that it can grasp the things very quickly so even if during the activity if child is distracted don't bother so much about it so let me demonstrate how you can utilize this product so the very first thing is you need to start with the dot cards so let me open the dot card and yes let me tell you this product planner sheet will help you everywhere so here it is mentioned that you need to uh, have a three session per day and uh, in the very first week you need to have zero to ten dot card first you need to arrange it like ten nine eight seven six five four three two one so that whenever you are doing this activity it goes in a sequence like zero to ten okay so ensure that it is arranged in this way when you start this activity you need to ensure that the front side of the dot card like which is having a dots will be faced by the child and the back side will be faced by you you also need to ensure that you hold this card from the edges so that your fingers does not cover the dots also when you start as i already mentioned in the rules that when you start you need to declare that baby we are going to see maths dot cards from 0 to 10 and then you can start like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 that's all For this first bunch you need to do this activity three times a day for a whole week now it might happen that child get uh, bored after two days because he already know this information so for the same reason the information has been given on the back side of the card which you can share with the child like zero is an even number you can start with this by the first week you should have completed first 10 cards the next week you need to introduce card number 11 to 20 which is also mentioned in the planner sheet 
By third way, you need to introduce card number 21 to 30. From the fourth week onwards, you need to add some of the symbol cards. And after that, you need to add the addition and uh, equation cards. From week five onwards, you need to add equations into your show. So let me tell you how you can use these equations using this dot card and symbol cards. First, you need to come up with the equation like here I'm come up with the equation 1 plus 2 equal to 3 then you need to arrange this card like 3 2 plus and 1 now you can start the show like 1 plus 2 equal to 3 so this way you can do many different kind of equations to complete this 0 to 100 dot cards and all these equations and question answer activities it will take around 15 weeks you simply need to follow the planner sheet and once you complete the 15 week you can go to other side which is step 2 where you need to do all this activity with the number cards the procedure is same but now you will be using number cards instead of dot cards not only this, along with all this information, you can also teach your child the complex functions like square, root, cubes, factors and also the tables. You can use number card, tile card and dot card for the same. Now with all this activity, you can grow your child's logic and reasoning skills up to the next level. I have demonstrated how you can make the equations with the use of dot cards and symbol cards. Now when you want to make the bigger equation then you need to use the number cards. So this is the way you can use the number card to make the equation like 53 subtract 6 equal to 47. Whenever you have a kid like 3 year old then it will be much easier because you cannot shuffle the cards to make this equation so it would be much easier. You can also do one thing. You can use the tile card for the more complex functions like 3 square equal to 9. So this way you can teach your child more complex functions like square, root, cube, factors etc. Thank you.